situations with in Wait. Hey, hey. <laughs> Go back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah. Hi, we're Chad and Meralda Garrison, and we've been married for 31 years. I think one thing that makes our marriage successful is just our commitment. We went into our relationship knowing that it was for life, and that divorce was not an option. And by saying it's not an, an option for divorce, it meant, what she means is she was going to kill me if, uh, if I left. <laughs> no. I think the other thing that has really uh, made our marriage work is that we're very intentional about communication. The communication has has helped us through the tough times because uh, whether she's mad at me or, or not, uh, we still talk. Uh, you know, at least every week, uh, once a week, uh, I'm going to take Merle to lunch. We're going to spend that time talking and communicating. We just make sure that we're on the same page uh, and knowing how each other's feeling and taking care of those conflicts the moment they happen. I think that we have a lot of conflict. Um, I mean, obviously we have our issues. Um, kids and the discipline of that. And sex. Differences with in-laws and, you know, extended family. And sex. Money sometimes. And sex. Yeah, and sex sometimes. You know, I think with when it comes to conflict, we're both passionate about our ideas. We both are always right. And yet we both care more about the marriage than about uh, winning the argument. Uh, but we are such different people. It took me a long time to figure out how different we were and how we resolve conflict. Yeah, Chad's the type. He wants to resolve it right away. You know, let's talk about it. Let's, let's you know, resolve things and move on and, and all's good. But I'm not that way. He had to learn, and I think he's done a great job, that I have to process. I have to go through the emotions. Sometimes I have to get mad. and then Tears. Lots of tears. Tears sometimes, because sometimes there's just no other emotion. But I've got to work through that and then get to that point where I can come back and say, okay, now I'm ready to talk about it. But that, that took some time. And, and it helps to remember that Love is patient and love is kind. I think one thing is to constantly reevaluate what your relationship is and to reinvent your marriage. You know, when kids come along, that changes the whole dynamic. So you've got to look at, you know, how you're going to spend your time together, when you're going to spend your time together. Uh, you know, we're in the stage now where we're basically empty nesters and we're still reinventing after 31 years. Um, so I think that's a huge key is to keep, don't be stagnant and just keep, keep things changing. Yeah, you have to invest in your relationship with your spouse. Uh, I know you love your kids, take care of your kids. I know you're invested in the job, but, but invest in the marriage. Uh, make sure that you're having fun, that you're taking care of the relationship, you're listening to each other. Uh, the other thing I want every uh, husband to know is this. Uh, the Bible tells us that the man who loves his wife loves himself. So guys, if you want a great marriage, you got to figure out how to bless your wife. And, uh, and especially at that point of just how you love her. Um, so I want to challenge you guys, look at your wife and realize that God calls you to love her as she is, not as you wish she was. And if you'll ask God to help you do that, he'll give you the power to love your wife and value her uh, and enjoy her as the partner that you chose to marry and, and realize that she is a blessing and a gift from God. And the more that you can bless her, then the more your life is going to be blessed and the happier you're gonna be and the stronger your marriage is gonna be. Mm -hmm.